guys, it's Yanni here, and, and we're back with another <gasps> video. So today's video, as you can see by the title, we are having all Korean food taste tests. Wow. Kring. Many of you in the Philippines, Korean food is so rampant. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What platform is that? Especially the Korean barbecue, it's called Sangyupsal. However, we've been having Korean barbecue forever here, so we want to introduce you guys. We're not Korean, but we want to introduce you guys to some other Korean deliciousness, as you can see in front of us. Here, because the culture is so broad. Be quick, because I'm so hungry. <laughs> what are you? Here we have rice cake. This is my favorite, you guys. I am not a big fan of rice cake, I must say. I, I love like the, the fish one. I love I the like texture, it. I love the rice cake, I love the flavor, it's very spicy. We also have here, I think this is squid tempura. Mm. This is not sushi, but this is like the version of sushi version of Korean. It's called uh, gimbap, I think, gimbap. So there's tuna in there, eggs, um, shredded carrots. And then, obviously, we have fried chicken. I'm gonna dig in this first. Fried chicken, Korean fried chicken. I'll have this one. They, they are not vegetarian. Whatever. They are known for their Korea, um, fried chicken in Korea. Fabio cannot eat this because he's vegetarian, so everything I mean, else he can eat. I, I eat fish, so not fully vegetarian, but yes. um, I'm just gonna have a little taste of the chicken too. Last but not the least, we have japchae. Japchae is like this um, chewy rice noodle from Korea. I love the texture as well. I yeah, love chewy this texture. I really love it. Yeah, this is very vegetarian as well. And this one is like shredded carrots. It's very common in all Korean restaurants. Oh, is it carrots? Uh, shredded, um, what do you call it? Uh, radish. Okay guys, so without further ado, let's dig in. Wait, you wanna open that now so that you can use that? Before we begin, quickly, we have an unboxing to make. Thank you so much for Banggood for giving us these amazing headphones. I've been waiting for this. It's an amazing company. You can check it out online. All the links are going to be linked down below. They have so many different products. They have technology, they have yoga stuff, they have outfits. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try the fried chicken first because look at that! Wow! I am loving this color. So I got them in green and I don't know if you can see it's very shiny green. The USB charger and all. Oh! oh, oh it lights up! It's li it lights up right away. It fits so nicely. I think I want it. It's perfect. So now I don't need, need to listen to Yanni at night. I'm gonna keep them on forever. There you go. So thank you Banggood for uh, giving us this amazing, amazing Check headphones. the link down below. Oh, we also have soy sauce and ketchup and mayo. We're gonna taste this everything. Like I said, I wanna try the chicken first because... And by the way, I bought this all at the H Mart here in Toronto. There's a local Korean grocery store where you can buy all Korean products. Oh my god, it looks so crispy. Yeah. Try it, try it. Try it. Mm. Wow, crispy. I think it's fresh. Is it good? Mm -hmm. And you can also buy already cooked food like this one. So it's like a very good Korean. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, it smells good. Amazing. Makes me not wanna be mm. vegetarian anymore. Mm. Guys, there's so much more into Korean culture and their food than just Korean barbecue because I know Sangyup Sal is very popular in the Philippines right now. That's what everybody's eating. But you should try it for other Korean food like this one. I love the rice cake. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you the taste later. But it's pretty much spicy, sweet, sour. Oh, I love the skin. Mm -hmm. Which one? No. Is it just skin? Yeah. No, I don't have it. It's so crispy. Okay, save me some though. I love it. Oh, really? Look how much you have. Okay. How's everyone doing? This is very important. They cannot answer. What should we talk about today, Fabio? Nothing. I'm gonna put my headphones on and just shut up. <laughs> Guys, I've been working so much because Fabio's been working I'm, so much. I'm really working like most days of the week. I work 13 or 14 hours just because I want to. I want to go away for the travel next year with a peace of mind and not struggling. You drop some on your shirt. <clears throat> mm, this chicken is so good, I can't. Mm. Guys, ketchup and mayo are the perfect combo. Mm. That one is squid tempura, tell me how it is. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna eat with my hands, I don't care. I'm gonna pretend I'm eating with my fork, but then I'm gonna hold you with hands too. <laughs> mm. Is it good? Mm. 
I can tell this is not super fresh. First of all, it's, it's not cold. crispy. No. And it's cold. Mm, it's good though. It's very good. Mm. <laughs> you put the I'm gonna back put the squid back into its pocket. Mm. There was a time before you guys that I was obsessed with all Korean food. That's all I eat every week. Ask mm -hmm. Fabio. Mm -hmm. I know there's more into this, but this is all we could buy. Otherwise, we would have to go to the restaurant to buy all the fancy ones like um, ki kimchi soup, tofu mm. kimchi soup, noodles. But my favorite is the pork bone soup. Comment below if you've tried that. Mm. How's the noodles? Amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have rice. I must say, I don't love the pork bone I soup. This. I don't love the pork bone soup. I don't know for what reason. It tastes too much love, like animal. I don't know. Mm, this one is like a noodley. It's called japchae. Japchae. Mm. 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 The video is gonna be about. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. I Amazing. love it. It's chewy. Mm. Wow, you squirted from your mouth. Like a viper. Careful that it's very spicy. Is it? Well, it's not very good. This, I, I love this one. Just because it's so um, nice. I don't know. I like the texture. I love raspberry texture. Mm. Oh, very spicy. No, it's not. Mm -mm. It's a good rice. I wish you had rice. You have rice. Mmm. I'll try this. Let's try this. Gimbap. This is gimbap, y'all. This is a very common lunch in Korea. It sounds so Korean. You do. You do. <laughs> but I've watched a lot of Korean mukbangs. I love, I'm obsessed with mukbangs. There, there was a time, ask Fabio, there was a time that that's all you see in my YouTube channel homepage. Mm -hmm. Suggestion videos, mukbangs. And actually, Yanni has a mukbang channel which has three subscribers. I had it, but I like I couldn't eat a big amount every single day, so I stopped doing it. He legit became became chubby. Nothing wrong with it, but I was like, mm. maybe I don't know. <laughs> Very good. Mm. I'm gonna go back to my chicken. Guys, did you see our seafood boy in mukbang, where I don't eat anything because Yanni stole all the food? <laughs> And I was starving right now. Comment below if you would like to do that. Let's talk about the future of Fabian and what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. Do I start? So right now, guys, I think we're facing the hardest time of our life because we are really not. We're really struggling to, even though we live together, we're struggling to find time for our for each other. And mainly it's because of me because I'm working so much. But also he's traveling a lot. He's going to his family every weekend when I'm free or he's going with his friend around. So it's a bit tough. It's I've been trying tough. to see I have been trying to see my family a lot because I know we're gone all year next year. Like I said, we're traveling the world next year all year. 2020. So link below is our travel channel. So check that out. Please subscribe to our travel channel. Mm -hmm. And see our adventure mm -hmm. so um, this year i'm trying to see them as much as possible comment below your favorite korean dish or even your favorite dish in general what's your favorite food like mine for example is pizza it's italian mm -hmm. i love pizza it's so good not the american one they're just the italian one mm -hmm. it's so good have you guys ever thought about how mostly ethnic food, ethnic people have the best flavor ever? Italians included. But like those people who live in America, their food is so boring to me. Just like burger and fries. And that's it. Yeah, they, they don't really have the culture of... They don't. They don't have... But it's because it's America, anyways, it's a newer country. America is like built by immigrants and the way they're doing it now. Yeah, but like, all those immigrants, they probably came without the book of recipes. They left it in Europe or Asia or whatever. 
and they came here and they were like, oh well, what are we gonna do? What do Burger and fries. That's true. And they forgot the recipes back home. Back home. Look at this tempura, how long it is. <laughs> I know for sure in Toronto, the best delicious food are food from other countries. Egyptian, Ethiopian, um, Asian food, African food. Mm -hmm. Mm. There's very bad Italian food here, very expensive. And it's, I'm just so curious how each culture can create or created their own flavor. How is that possible? What do you mean? How is that possible? This mix up and stuff and I know, but who? How did they think of it? Like, how was the idea behind it? God knows. <laughs> like, who thought of killing a fish and eating it raw? Mm hmm. Right? Well, that's my idea. Who thought of combining our curry powder and have this amazing flavor? Actually, the question is, who thought about cooking fish? Because if you think about it in nature, no one cooks beside us, humans. That's true. So, who thought about eating a fish and then they were like, let me put it on the fire and let's see how it goes. Yes, I know. Like, how? And adding salt, adding pepper, mm -hmm. and other, other spices. Oh, well, crazy. Mm -mm. We're gonna be quiet now. Chicken is so good, Fabio. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. But how are you guys? The only thing that can push me to go back eating meat is Jolly Bee sponsoring us. <laughs> we can't wait for Jolly Bee. We should go to Jolly Bee every single day when we're in the Philippines next year. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? So we are meeting. We're doing a lot of meet and greets all around Philippines next year. Mm -hmm. Manila, Cebu, Baguio, or you know, Davao. Comment below what other cities we should do meet and greet in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We would love to see you. I hope we'll be able to go to the beach every single day. Of course. Like everywhere we are because I miss I need to be close to water to be happy. <laughs> That's why I always go travel with my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also gonna introduce Fabio to all Filipino food, like Ponco Ponco in Cebu. Balut. You have to eat balut. No, no, no. You have to eat balut. No. I tried it already. Not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. I love the chewiness of this. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Let me try this. Why? Let me try this. Um, I really don't want to eat that one. Why? Mm -hmm. I don't want to. You're so picky. You always say you're not, but I kind of are. Compared to me. I ate that last week. What do you want? You did? Mm. Mm -hmm. You're not a YouTuber by heart, aren't you? Some of my videos, they don't talk, they just eat. I've been craving fried chicken. I haven't had it in so long. So long, he means a week max. Stop! I you eat fried chicken every week. I don't. You do. It's you don't eat unhealthy. it in the house, you go out to eat it. It's unhealthy, I don't eat it every week. You really do. <laughs> I share multiple times a week. No. Actually, don't. That's a lie. At least once a week. No, I don't. Last week you were with Omar. This week is here. Okay, once a week. Exactly. But not more than I'm once gonna a week. I'm gonna count. Now I'm gonna count. Why? 
so that I can bring the fried chicken is so good if there's Jollibee oh my god we live downtown Toronto Jollibee is so far away from us one in Mississauga one in Scarborough there's an hour and a half drive from here from where we live hell no and commute is like more than two hours yeah it's ridiculous but there's been talk that they're gonna open Jollibee right downtown by um, Ryerson University Oh, that's gonna be insane. It's gonna be a long lineup for a while. It's gonna be insane. I'm done. I'm still eating. Mm. <sighs> Guys, I really cannot wait for next year travel. Mm -hmm. Because I am so tired of working. Wherever you guys are from in the world, we would love to see you and meet you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give us a tour. All this, all that. I want to eat some lychee. Get it. Bring it here. Mmm. It's very good. This one is like. The crab meat, egg, I think there's tuna, and yellow radish. He's my boyfriend. This this one, the, this ugly one. This my I'm boyfriend. not ugly. My ugly. You're supposed to drink that. I don't give a shit. I'll, I'll drink what I want. The fried chicken is so good. I, want to, I don't want to stop eating. But I've been good past two days. I was so healthy. Lichi. Ow. Ow. I saw Friday. That coming Friday, remember? Friday or Saturday? Friday. Yes. Do we have a wedding this Saturday? No. No. I have a wedding. I have work. You have wedding Sunday. Mm -hmm. So the plan for the rest of the day, is, the day guys, is we're going to film a video for my YouTube channel and then I'm going to work again forever until night mm -hmm. so tired please send me money, money if you want me to stop working <laughs> <laughs> just it's been, do it it's been working a lot you guys just do it for me I've been working a lot too wow Nothing for you. Okay, let's close this video. We have a lot of leftovers. Thank you all for watching. See you soon, guys. Love Peace. you, bye.